each of them need to do. And then we have two uh, recent uh, UB grads, Andrew Nolan and Steve Halston, Halston, who's uh, going to uh, take what they do in a typical day. They uh, both work for uh, craft brewing. I guess they're going to tell you how you can brew beer in your dorm room. No, I don't think they're going to do that. Yeah. They're going to tell you a little bit about what they do in a typical day and what worked for them and didn't work for them when they were students here. So, Dr. Benet, start with you.
Assistant Brand Marketing Manager for Kona Brewing Company. And just to give a little bit of my background, went to UP in the marketing management major, which apparently is no more. Um, graduated with that, and then after college, had a series of odd jobs, um, anywhere from driving a van for black entertainment television to cold calling to sales, um, a lot of random odd jobs, and finally got my foot in the door um, when one of my friends told me about Craft Food Alliance, and um, they were getting new jobs, and Andrew was getting promoted, and told me about his job, and I applied and took over. Started as a wholesaler product supply collaborator, which is a terribly boring, long title that means you deal with inventory. Um, did that for a couple of years, and while I was doing that, went to UB again to get my master's, and I did that in marketing as well. And the same month that I finished my MBA, there was actually a position that opened at, um, in the marketing department, so hopped over there and been doing that for a little under two years now. Um, just to give you a little background on Kona Brewing Company, it's a brewery that was started by a father and son team back in 94, based on the islands, and they had huge success on the islands when wanted to move to the mainland, so they started contract brewing with Craft Brew Alliance, which at the time was Red Hook and Whitman Brothers Brewery. And they saw huge success, and then in 2010, they fully joined up with Craft Brew Alliance and uh, launched all over the U.S. They're not completely national, but um, we're in 40 states right now. And since joining the Alliance, they've seen double digit growth year over year for the past uh, four years, something like that. So it's been a good move for uh, Conor Brewing. And I work on the marketing side of that. Um, so basically what I do, I create the tools that will allow our salespeople and our key account managers to sell Kona properly and make people excited about Kona Brewery. Uh, that can range from a lot of things. I work with a retail marketing department, and with them we create promotions, sweepstakes, um, Facebook campaigns. Uh, we also create merchandise, so we'll do a lot of like, t-shirts, keychains, little trash bags we can give away, up to like, huge racing canoes, surfboards, um, any other branded outdoor sport that you can think of slap a logo on it and get people excited about Kona. Um, we also create new products and beers. So for example, um, this year we released a Hang 10 pack, a play off of Hang 10 when you're surfing. It's a 10 pack of cans. Um, we sold that um, out in the market. Next year we're launching a new IPA in the market. So my team is helping develop a recipe for that with brewing. We're also creating packaging, um, creating a brand story behind that. And we're also ready a normal day. Uh, we also manage our Facebook page. And when I started, our Facebook page had around 40,000 um, followers. And in a little under two years, we've grown that to 320,000 followers. Um, which is a pretty impressive feat for any company, um, especially a small brewing company that not a lot of people have heard of. And what I'll do with that is I'll go out and make pictures when I'm out in the market visiting, I'll create posts for it, I'll respond to consumers, look at emails, um, and do anything involved with Facebook. I also am in charge of the webmail address where if you go to our website, consumers can write in anything from where can I find your beer to just stupid questions like how come I can't get drunk off free? Like people have ridiculous <laughs> questions. Um, another big part of my job, um, I'm like to travel a lot and I'll go to our focus markets which for Kona Brewery, it's obviously Hawaii, and then California, a big focus market as well. Um, just the demographics very similar, and then Florida is another big market for us. And when I'm out there, I will go out with my salespeople to ride-alongs and uh, listen to them sell our product and see how they're pitching it to different bars and restaurants. Because uh, just the regular Kona story doesn't fit everyone. You have to kind of twist it and make it work in each market. Um, so it's interesting to go out with salespeople and see what works for them, so I can take that back with me and we're coming up with new promotions and sweepstakes to cater to those particular markets. Um, another cool part of the job uh, when I travel, sometimes I get to go to beer festivals, which I'll go and do market research. So basically I'll try a bunch of beers. Um, so that's one of the more fun parts. Um, and it's funny, I was talking to my parents a while back, saying how, you know, in college when you used to call me, I said I was studying. It's actually drinking. Um, but if you think about it, I was really studying. I was doing market research for the job, so it all worked out in the end. Um, so really, in a nutshell, what I do, um, anything that you see a Kona logo on, whether it's beer on the shelf, tap handles, 
be wearing a shirt, a keychain. That goes through our department. We make sure it fits the brand standards and looks the same wherever you go. Um, so people can get a clear message and a clear story about what kind of jewelry is. Um, and then talk about maybe giving a piece of advice for you guys. If I have one piece of advice to give, uh, it'd be once you graduate, take a crappy job. It doesn't matter if it's in the right field, it's just take the job that comes to you first. Use that as a setting still and you get new um, skills and whatnot, and then eventually that'll lead to the job that you want to get in. But when I graduated, I figured I was going to be managing 20 people, and I'd be awesome. People would be looking for me because I went to college. Um, you got to work at it still. It's not just giving you a letter, um, which I wish it was. But luckily, if you go marketing at UP, they have a strong program, and really, I mean, they go over everything, every little facet of marketing. You don't realize it in the real world. Um, so you're set up for success if you choose that marketing. Yeah. All right, how are you guys doing today? Good. All right. Um, Andrew Norman, and again, I work at Craft Brew Alliance. I graduated in 2009 as well. Um, I actually took a little different path than Stephen. I actually graduated with a finance degree, and I had a background in accounting and operations. Um, and that kind of fits into my uh, marketing path later on down. But um, kind of going back to what Steve was saying, if you think about the brand and, and what it's about, I guess just a shout out. Why, why do you guys buy Nike? Or why do you buy an iPod? Or an Apple product? Any, any answers? Nice yeah, does, does it job well? Yeah. Anything else? Bad on you? Because it's cool, because it's fun, because it's hip, right? So from a marketing standpoint, I mean, that's, that's really what Steve's job is all about, right? It's to make things look exciting, be hip, cool, uh, realistic. So whatever they need to be for a typical situation. Now, granted, we're dealing with beer, so we're dealing with, you know, when you want to have fun, when you, when you want to drink, right? So when you look at brands like Kona or Wimmer or Red Hook, they basically, they're different drinks for different occasions, right? So when Steve's creating a brand, he's creating a type of excitement or an environment for you to drink at a specific occasion for a specific group of people. So my role is currently in key accounts, and so I sell to a number of grocery chains within the Northwest. And so I'm selling to Fred Meyer, Albertsons, Whole Foods, UFC, and really the role is to take the brands that Steve's created in our, in our marketing team and put them out into the public guys so that people can have the opportunity to purchase that brand. So between the two of us, he's really creating the essence behind what the product is and then really from an executional standpoint, I'm trying to get into the public guys so that when somebody goes out in the market, they can see how exciting everybody is when they're drinking going and purchase off the show. So a little background about my time at University of Portland. Um, like I said, I was a finance major in operations and accounting, um, and then actually went to an operational fair where I got to sit through about five different speed network dating interviews, um, and CBA was happy to be one of them. So uh, I actually, to Steve's point, I started as an intern, uh, fresh out of college, which I'm sure after you've gone through four years of a private university and made a lot of money, the last thing you want to do is take an internship for years. Well, Bell is now so uh, with no benefits. But again, it was kind of the right time, the right place. I got my foot in the door, uh, worked hard, and three months later, they hired me on full time. Um, from there, I moved into a brewery rebel where I was actually selling beer on the street and trying to get in bars, restaurants, uh, sell bigger displays at grocery stores. Um, and then from there, moved into a sales manager role up in Washington, and then now mostly re or most recently, uh, key counts from Sunday Grocery. So, um, at the end of the day, really, I was trying to think about, you know, from a business standpoint, what really drives our business? Is it, you know, is it the accounting side? Is it the operations of the supply chain or the sales department? Really what it comes down to is the way we make decisions as a company is a collaboration between all those departments. But really what it is derived from is our marketing department from a very big portion of the company. Because they're looking at brands and basically figuring out 
what do you guys want? What are you going to buy? What is the target demographic for Kona, whether it's a, a 21 to 35 year old, or what's the marketing demographic for Wimmer? Maybe it's a 35 to 45 year old, what those people like and, and desire. So, um, it's a fun business, but. Um, Does anybody, has anybody declared their major at this point yet? No. None, okay. A few transfers maybe, but the rest of them haven't yet. They're just all business. Okay. Well, I can tell you that when I was at this same point sitting in this room, I had no idea what I wanted to do. And the best thing, I guess from an advice standpoint, the best thing to do is continue to keep your options open, keep your eyes open. And University of Portland puts you in a great position to test different fields and different markets. And when you get into the business realm or once you graduate and find out something similar that you'd like to do, there's going to be opportunities to open up in every field. So don't stay focused on just finance or just operations or accounting or marketing, but continue to keep your eyes open and, and use all the avenues that you have to make connections in different fields because, again, you never know what you're going to end up in, whether you, you start as marketing and you end up in finance or, or the other way around. So. With that, I guess we'll open up the questions. All right. Thank you for your question. Yeah. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Here we go. We've got one over there too on the side. John down and one on the side over there. All right, Stephen, you talked about how when you guys, when it's time to kind of come up with new products, new beers, marketing works with the brewing, the brewmaster kind of stuff. How does that actually work? I mean, how do you sort of identify that it's time to come up with some new products? And hmm. so, how does that, can you tell us a bit more about how that works? Yeah. Um, well, I guess we, we start. Oh, it's uh, we'll work with the sales team pretty closely, like Andrew Norland. We'll get a lot of information, um, like what's working, what's not, package sizes, whether it's six pack, 12 pack, and then beer styles. Um, so for the past way IPA, which is the IPA we're launching next year, we're getting a lot of input from the field market that we need an IPA. IPA is a huge, Kona's huge, it makes perfect sense, let's get one out there. So we took that feedback and then we thought, you know, what would a Kona IPA taste like. Um, it'll be obviously an IPA is a little bitter, it'll have some floral notes, it'll be a little bit lighter, um, not as heavy, because um, it's a Kona beer. You want to drink it on the beach. And then from there, we give that feedback to the brewing department, um, and they'll we'll say what we want, they'll come back with a test batch and say, eh, it doesn't have the right smell to it, it doesn't have the right finish, it doesn't taste right, and then they'll make small adjustments to the, the hops and malts kind of get the beer that we want. Um, and then simultaneously, we're working on packaging as well. So we have um, an, a package of agency that we use, and we'll tell them we want it to look this, we want it to invoke a feeling of adventure, we want it to be full picture, once they come in, they will come back with um, some graphics, and then we'll work with them to tweak it, show it to the sales department again, and say, if you sell this on a shelf, would you be able to sell it? Get their approval, and go back, and then finish, uh, put it all together. So it's really, you're working with every different department to see, like, basically get their approval, get them to say, yes, we need this, it's the best business decision, and then go from there. So it's a long process. Like, Castaway IPA, we started, we knew we were going to launch it a year and a half ago, and we're still not finished. It's still going, we're launching it mid next year. So, yeah. Yeah. So I was just going to add on that question, too, because so 
as Steve was talking about, as he goes through the steps in creating this beer, simultaneously, as he mentioned, they're constantly communicating with the sales department. And so we are currently trying to position ourselves so that comes springtime when Fred Meyer and Albertsons and all these grocery stores are going to redo their, their spring sets and start adding new items into their, into their stores. We have basically carved the space out for this new item. So, because without the new brand and the hot, exciting you know, flavor profile and graphics, we're not going to have anything to sell to that grocery store. But again, without us positioning ourselves in that constant communication between sales and marketing, then we don't have the opportunity to actually get it in your hands. So, um, it's a very long, fun process. <laughs> Okay, we have another question over here somewhere. On the side there, right? Yeah, I have a question about, uh, this goes to the uh, professors and the uh, graduate UP students. Is there any classes for like technology and management, like creating new, like let's say graphic images or other forms of technology marketing? Uh, and then if there wasn't one for the UP grads, uh, what would be your advice of adding a course like that to the curriculum? All right, so from the curriculum standpoint, we don't have a course like that. We don't have a course like that. I don't know if uh, the College of Arts and Sciences or anything like that. I know they have visual communication for that school shop. I think sometimes they add courses that um, teach students how to use some of the software, like for example, creating movies and like how to create all that kind of stuff. But not necessarily. I haven't heard of any courses where they use um, graphic design and you know, use it as a piece of software. Uh, we don't really have a curriculum, you know, a, a course that uh, does that. Um, now, the thing is to remember is that we are a private institution with a pretty small department. It's going to be very hard for us to add courses that we do not cover. So if we, for example, had the resources and somebody who is an expert in the area of graphic design, in, in, if there was demand for it, then that would be something to consider. So we're always looking for what is the demand and how our resources align with the demand and what is it that we can offer to students without just making you know blank promises and not being able to deliver. So anybody else? Questions on marketing? Last call. Mm -hmm. Anybody? They just answer all their questions. Right, you just got a major in marketing. Yeah, you know, you know, if you want to come up here at the end, because you're too bashful to ask a question, feel free to come up here. Uh, if you have an interest in any of the stuff that we talked about, you know, we have two more panels. Next week is going to be on accounting, and then the last one will be on finance. Thank you. Let's give, let's give our guests. Uh,